just sort of tick talking. And today we're talking about Wendy's, the Frosty. I love the Frosty. I love the Dairy Queen too, but the thing is the Frosty's last longer maybe. Of course, I guess you're getting more, paying for more too. And you can put the Dairy Queen ice cream in the little but I always do. I, I never have it in the cone, especially because whenever it's so hot and you like to go get an ice cream when it's hot and of course it melts and it runs down on your head. And I'm kind of a fastidious clean person. don't really like that too well. So, Frosty. I give you the Frosty. The way the Frosty has been around ever since there's been a Wendy's when Dave Thomas started it in 1969. I think they first had only the chocolate flavor, but uh, Dave Thomas, the founder, said that it was too strong on the sense on the on the taste buds, so they added the vanilla. But the Frosty has been part of the part of the Wendy's menu. Take the spoon out ever since the restaurant opened in 1969. Dave got his inspiration from, from a, a restaurant that was in Kalamazoo, Michigan, I think. I know there's a Kalamazoo, Michigan. I guess that's where Dave Thomas, where he was from near there. It was a restaurant chain called Coopies, Coopies named after the Cupid doll, but there are, there are only just a few of them, and there are still today just a few, and in the local area, and it's still owned by the, the same family that started it back in 1923 or so. The Wendy's was also the first chain, fast food chain, that had a, rest, had a salad bar, and back in the Back in the mid '80s, there was a an advertisement for Wendy's with two elderly ladies, Clara Paylor or something, Clara, and another lady, and they went to the to another restaurant and they got a little hamburger and it was so tiny there was a little bit of meat in it, a lot of bread, and they said the lady said, "Where's the beef?" So that became kind of a a pop culture slogan. And it was also used in a, in a campaign in the mid-80s. I think Gary Hart ran the president and somebody, somebody else to keep my table clean. Oh, and by the way, I need another table. I never imagined I would be doing a, uh, an, an eating video. So I'm just... I have different things I'm doing in my channel and I want to find out what which works best and what people like best. So anyway, Dave Thomas died in 2002. Of course, I remember the commercial that the one about where's the beef saw it all the time. A lot of you who, who watch this channel are very young in fact, you're mostly all young people. That's great. Maybe try to keep me young a little bit. So, Dave Thomas died in 2002, and his, his daughter, Wendy Thomas, she started, she did some commercials too for a while. And of course, it's his, her, Wendy, his daughter, is, is, what, is what the chain is named after. And when you go to Wendy's and you see that face there, that's sort of a likeness of his of his little of his daughter when she was very young. I remember in this town there was also another restaurant that was called like Debbie's or something like that. And I went into there and this was back in the eighties and it looked like it was almost exactly the same as, as Wendy's. I thought this is really strange. It was almost identical even though the picture of the of the mascot, uh, 
maybe it was Debbie or something on the on the sign. And then it turned out I think there was a lawsuit but because Wendy said that Debbie's was copying and it seemed obvious they were inspired by Wendy's. So. Or this uh not really thought out too much yet. But I have to dig into it with a spoon. I love Wendy's Frosties. I bet some of you will be inspired to go out yourself and, and get one. I don't have these things very say some of the vanilla now. If you can see the vanilla. It's all mine. you don't want to have too much of anything that has a lot of sugar. And Wendy's and a lot of other restaurants are good now because they, they publish the, the calories and, and the saturated fats and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's cold. Remember, eat responsibly. today. Get great offers and more. There's an app for everything. I think we're over apt. Apt to death. When I was young, though, such thing as an app. And now all the young people use apps for everything. By the way, to me a young person is anyone who's under 50 now. this in a while. I really needed more space. But anyway, there's half of it I can have later. here. I need a bigger table. I like to get a bigger table. If the 
there we are. To finish this up like this. this so you don't have to suffer any longer watching me enjoy this delicious frosty. This is Trip and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope it's sunny where you are like it is here. But even if it's an ugly day, you can still enjoy it. Peace out. <laughs>